Okay, welcome to this section of Smoke on Mac. Now, using Photoshop files for your graphics is a pretty common thing, and, and what I want to show you is how to get the most out of that using Autodesk Smoke. The really nice thing about working with Photoshop files inside of the Action 3D pausing environment is that you have uh, not only access to every layer, but you can do a lot of very interesting things with it. And with a preference called clip history on, which is right here, that it'll, it keeps your work and saves it in a way that you can really directly access that again. So I'm just going to switch back, switch into the action environment. We'll start with none, which means an empty action environment. And our project preset is set up for NTSC uh, television, but we can work in any. We can make custom resolutions. And this is really a great way of, of create using uh, action is basically a powerful After Effects compositor because you can make it to be any size, a web size, HD, 2K, 4K, but we'll just stick with NTSC for today. So I'll go on none, and that's where I get this white arrow, and the white arrow is the selection arrow, and it's telling me that wherever I click is the result of my action is going to go. So I'm just going to click here on the, on the desktop, and it's giving me a warning about it's going to remove everything in the layer menu. So I'm going to click Confirm, and I'm getting a blank action. And so what I'm seeing right now is a, a two-up view. Over here on the lower right, you can see this is the top view. On the left, you can see this is the schematic view. And the schematic is where you manipulate your elements. And this view, you can, you can actually, if using the Alt key, you can switch with multiple views. You can have up to four views here. So we'll just go back to two. And what I'll do is I'll import that Photoshop file into action. Now we'll notice over here that we have a default duration of one, which is not going to very do much for us. So I'm going to change that to 30 frames and just quickly make a, a quick animation out of this. I have auto key turned on on the lower right, which means that when I change things, it'll automatically set keyframes for me. So I can very quickly build things. So I'm just going to click on the import module and drag it up. And what that does, it brings me into this import window. Now this is really interesting because if I click down on the different file types, I can bring in FBX, 3D Studio, Wavefront, Inventor files. So inside of this 3D compositing environment, I can actually bring in 3D models and manipulate them. And we'll cover that in a later part of the tutorial. So we'll just stick with the Photoshop file. There's the Smokies logo. I'll click on it. And what it's doing is actually looking at the Photoshop file and dissecting each layer out as a separate individual element. So what, I've, what I have now is that same background layer. I have the, um, the keyboard sort of texture. I'm just going to zoom in by holding the shift and the control key on the Mac. So these are the three elements, three individual layers that I have. And then I have this thing right here, which is a 3D camera which is represented by this yellow object. So I'm just going to hit, click onto this window. See, as I click back and forth, it highlights it, which means that's the active window. I'm just going to click over here, hit F4 for the result view. So that's fine. Uh, I sort of set up a, a nice little thing. But let's, the fun part is really animating it. So let's grab the camera. And we'll do like, uh, like a kind of a smash zoom out. So we can control the camera through the count over here where we have the Z position, or we can actually just click on the camera, and with the auto key on, it's going to remember what I do. So I'm going to go over here, I'm going to push all the way in, and instead of the front, the result view, so I'll click over to F4. So we've really pushed in quite a lot. So then I'm going to switch over here to about 20 frames, and then I'm just going to grab the camera and just pull out like that so we can see that image and you can see actually as I do that just to see that it's showing you it's 3D I can orbit around the image and show you that we're actually working with elements that are separated in three space 